government at all levels in Nigeria have been charged to establish mechanisms to support vulnerable citizens, especially those with disabilities. Lack of effective laws and structures to protect their rights necessitates immediate action to ensure inclusivity and welfare for all. Hamido Yegbadi tells us more. Despite pledges from successive governments to improve the conditions of vulnerable citizens in Nigeria, the reality falls short. Poor women, children and persons with disabilities face immense hardship due to inadequate social support and assistance. In Oshun State, although the Child Rights Act and violence against persons prohibition law have been domesticated, their implementation remains inadequate. Furthermore, the Disability Act is yet to be domesticated, compounding the challenges faced by vulnerable individuals in the state. Uh, as far as the Disability uh, Act domesticating in the state is concerned, we are making efforts, but unfortunately, the bill is yet to be domesticated. Uh, the major uh, thing that we did last year was to meet with the people, I mean, we had the public, uh, uh, what do you call it, public uh, hearing on the bill. So the law, I would say that the judicial system has always taken judicial care of the needs of these people. And I know that the, the trend continues up to now. That's why the fact that the government is trying its best, but the government still needs more uh, chances, at least to support the persons with disabilities, so to, that to make life easy and available for them. On International Wheelchair Day, March 1st, women with physical disabilities highlight mobility as their primary challenge. This, uh, we can call this one our less. Without this, there's no way we can go. There's no, nothing we can do. If I don't have this wheelchair now, it will be very, very difficult for me to move from, uh, from, uh, from my environment, to move from here, uh, from here to anywhere. My house is in, in an extreme place. It's very, very not convenient. So I can see means of transportation is very major thing now. And some of us that are unemployed also, they need, so that they will not be begging uh, at this, uh, on the streets, they need job. As part of their contributions to the community, some indigents of Oshobo donated wheelchairs to persons with disabilities. So some hospitals were earmarked, primary health care centers were given wheelchairs. So also we have the primary health care centers, the teacher hospital, the state hospitals, then people with disabilities too. These uh, wheelchairs were extended to them. So 71 wheelchairs were distributed today in the name of Oshobo's new sister cities and as we sister cities incorporated. Stakeholders called on government and public spirited individuals to support vulnerable citizens and particularly persons with disabilities. Amid Oji Igbade, Trust TV News, Oshobo.